Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pinpoint back at it again with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a different style video. I'm going to be doing a basketball analysis of the Tennessee Purdue at the end of the game last night. There were some iffy calls and so I'm going to be checking those out really quickly. And um, I don't know if you guys know, but I am a huge basketball fan. Obviously I make all the 2K videos, but just letting you guys know I might be making more of these style videos in the future. Um, other than that, please drop a sub if you are not subscribed. It helps me out and motivates me a ton. And then drop a comment and a like. And without further ado, I'm going to be getting into the gameplay from that game last night. Alright, so we're going to be starting right here. This is the end of the game. So right at the end of the game, Grant Williams blocks Carson Edwards' layup. And it goes out on Tennessee. And then this is what happens. Carson Edwards gets a corner three, and there was a very debatable call. Everyone is arguing about this. There's a huge ruckus about this. Um, he got fouled on a three-pointer where it is said that he kicked out his leg, so it shouldn't have been a foul. He ends up making the last two out of the three free throws to tie the game with 1.7, and Tennessee was not able to really get a shot off after this. But... Right before that, let's take a look at what happened because we don't care about that foul in the corner because this is what should have changed the game right before that. So what nobody seems to be discussing is that Carson Edwards went in for a layup and Grant Williams blocked him. And so what no one is discussing is that they did review this call to see if it went off Carson Edwards' leg and it seems quite obvious that it did. His leg even moves. You can see the ball come off his leg. I'm going to play it twice in slow motion so you guys can see this, but you can literally see the ball come off his left leg. His left leg moves as, you know, the ball comes down on it. You can see his leg adjust. So it turns right there and then it turns back. And I think that's blatantly obvious evidence that it should have been Tennessee ball which would have effectively ended the game because Tennessee would have had the ball with 2.7 seconds left, and as long as they didn't turn it over on the inbounds, pretty much would have been an easy win because there would have basically been no time for Purdue to be able to foul. Then if Tennessee made one or both free throws, it would have been basically a game right there. So that's my take on this. I think the ball definitely went out on Carson Edwards. Like, here's another replay. It looks pretty obvious to me, but that's it for today. Thank you, guys.